That is huge. That might be the biggest one of my life. Um, we didn't rinse the mac and cheese out of the pot at lunch. So I gotta clean this bowl quick. But um, we did have some wonderful mac and cheese for lunch, red pepper made for us. Um, and right now I've got an experiment I wanna do. So welcome back to the Abundant Harvest Homestead. I'm Papa Pepper. Mama Pepper's in town with a couple things going on right now. And I've got an experiment, something I've been meaning to do for a bit. And I actually was able to go out last night and catch the largest gar of my life. That thing was almost four feet long. That was so much fun. And now comes the best part. <laughs> we get to eat it. Yes, yes, I said eat gar. Um, man, our diet's pretty interesting when it comes to some things. A lot of what people consider trash fish we eat. And a lot of the stuff they really like, we don't eat. Um, got a great video on how to eat trash fish. Episode one was gar, but look at these boneless back straps. Some people say gar is too bony. There is not a bone in either of these, and I call them back straps because it's almost like what you'd get off of a deer, and that's crazy. The consistency of this meat is a little chewy. When I uh, bread it and deep fry it, it's got like a chicken tender consistency, and it's our number one target species right now. We love it. Um, but I wanted to see how it would be if I had a gar boil. This I picked up at a discount store for only 79 cents. We try to live frugally, it's just spices, but this is normally what you'd use for crawfish, crab, shrimp. Um, we don't eat any of those anymore. When I used to live in New Orleans, I actually worked with one of the Zatarans at a place and um, definitely went to some crawfish boils and stuff like that. But I'm gonna try a gar boil. Um, my suspicion is that this gar is kind of rubbery and almost like a, uh, a good substitute possibly for something like shrimp or like scallops. I think it's got a similar consistency um, as far as the chewiness. So I think if I make a gar boil, I think it'd be a good, you know, similar to what those things would normally be like. I don't need a substitute uh, since I don't eat crustaceans anymore. Um, but I never minded the way that it, the texture or the flavor. So we're going to see how this works by using these guys here. I'm going to get this boiling and we'll see how this works. So with this pro boil Zatarain seasoning mix here, um, this is for like, what's it say? 15 pounds of shrimp, 10 pounds of crawfish or one and a half dozen crabs. Um, it's for eight quarts of water. I'm just going to throw two quarts in a pot here and use about a quarter of this. And then this fish was 46 inches, but it was only like six and a half pounds before we um, filleted it and cut it up. So this is not, you know, 10 to 15 pounds worth of meat. So I'll be using a fraction of it, but this stuff you bring to a boil with it, then you add your stuff and um, let it boil again for another two to five minutes. And then they recommend letting it soak that that seasoning and stuff kind of permeates it. A lot of times I'll use the Zatarain's fish fry with this. Um, if I'm gonna deep fry it, I'll cut it into pieces and then soak it usually in lemon juice overnight, lemon or lime juice. It just gives it a really good flavor and uh, we like that together, um, the way that that works. Um, this one I'm gonna cut into some thinner pieces, kind of more like shrimp size almost. Um, while I wait for this to boil, I'll add a quarter of this in there. When it gets boiling, we'll add this in. We'll see how it works, but I'm excited and 
when everyone gets in, we'll be able to taste test it. Honestly, that's not a bad plate of meat for one freshwater fish, especially one that many people consider to be a trash fish. I can't wait to see how this is going to work. This is one of my most favorite species, my top target species for eating and for catching right now. Um, love this fish so much. This has been one of my projects is to have a garboil. Another one is to uh, make some gar pole boys. So stay tuned. Hopefully we can catch some more this year. And that'll be in the upcoming episode. I really look forward to that. Well, we boiled that long enough. I am going to shut down the heat and just let it soak for a little bit more. And let it cool down for a minute, but wow. Those gar bites look really good. Look at that. Oh man, I can only imagine. So far, soon I will know. This could be a great experiment. Mama ain't home yet, so I'm just pulling out some. I'm gonna keep the other ones warm and they're soaking, and we're gonna get the first try on these. I don't always try things first, but usually it's because Mama's here. So, it smells amazing. It smells just like a seafood boil, you know. That's what it is, that's the seasoning there. So it smells like, like I'd be eating crawfish or something. It's definitely Zatarans. Mmm. Wow. Got kind of a crawfish type consistency. I'll give it that. Boy, I love a garboil. I thought this would be good. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Now I can guarantee it is. Um, thankfully, my guy, my little peppers are spicy. They like a good, you know, hot sauce or things like that. So this is spicy, but I bet they're gonna like it too. Oh man, I wonder how snake gourds would be in that garboil. Yeah, I wonder. Maybe Hmm. Who wants to try? Me, me. me. Oh, hold on. Red pepper is gonna be up first. 
why don't you give it a try and see what you think, girl? That's good. Yeah? You like that, Gar? Alright. Bug, can you reach that little man? Yeah. Take one of those? Oh, you got a big one. Munch that up a little bit and see what you think. It's kind of spicy. Mm. Mm. Yeah? All right, sweet pepper, hop up and grab one. You can eat that to the side, bug. Let's see what sweet pepper thinks. It's good. You already know that, just nibbling? All right, monster truck, take a turn. Try a piece, I'm gonna snag another one. That's gar, son. Boiled gar. That is really good. Yeah. And somebody came back. What's going on, girl? Step out of the camera here. Tell me what's happening. What's happening? I want another one. Oh, well, you may. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> You're hoping for another? Yeah. All right, grab one up. That was my secret test. I was gonna see if any one of these came back for more, and if they did, that'd be the pass. The first two are munching on their big pieces, or the other little, little two. I can't wait. Let's see what Mama thinks. But this is it, guys. We are definitely gonna be having some gar boils in the future. It is awesome. You guys think so? Who wants, I mean, what do you like? Do you like this better or Gar the other way better? This better. You like this better than the other way? What about you? Mm. Probably the Zatarans way. But this, this is Zatarans too. Well, yeah. But this does taste really good. I don't know, I like it better. I think I like it both. I don't think I can make a decision. I think I like them both. What's yeah. up, Bug? What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, he's back in. He's in another crowd. Sweet, so you come back for more or are you just hanging out? Did you want more or no? Huh? She said yeah. All right, you may. And this one's trying to wiggle her fingers again. Everyone came back for more. Mm. That is so good. May I have another one? You may, you may. I can't wait to see what Mama thinks. I think she's gonna like it. I do too. Whoa, you guys save me one or two of them. I caught that fish. <laughs> Honestly, I might need y'all to keep a secret. If mama don't make it back for soon, we might actually eat all this before she get back. Mm. Mm. I don't want to, but the spirit is willing, the flesh is weak, and this is tasty. We're gonna see. If you don't see her in this video, don't say nothing. Well, lucky for Mama, that was a big fish. There's still a whole lot left, so we're gonna see what she thinks when she gets here. I don't even think she knows that I made it, but uh, she's about to walk in in a minute. I'm gonna get some of this stuff out and cool in a little bit so she can try it. We'll see what she thinks. All right, Pink, give it a try. That's garboil. Oh yeah? I like that. That's really good. Imagine with some like uh, corn and you know little corn cobs and potatoes and stuff in there. I like that. Yeah? I do like it when it's fried in Zatarans, but I like it this way too. It's really good. This is another Zatarans, so just... Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, I couldn't tell which I liked better. Yeah, I can't eat it. I like the spiciness of this one too. 
Yeah. It's really good. Cool. Think mom will like it? I think so. Do you think you want another piece? You may. <laughs> Everyone else came back for more. What's the tent uh, consistency like? It seems not as chewy as when we deep fry it, right? Yeah. Do you think if I have a garboil, you'll come? Who? If I have a garboil, will you come to eat some? This way it's easier to rip apart. Mm -hmm. The texture is different too. Does it taste like a, or like a similar consistency to like crawfish? Like when you pull it out of the tail? It kind of is, so, right? Yeah. Yeah, just no big... Uh, Heads to suck and tails to crack and all that other stuff, huh? Yeah. Because I already cut it out of its body. Alright, let's see what mom thinks. She made it. She made it. Sorry I kept you up. Alright, darling. That is garboiled. <laughs> so I want you... To try some of this garboil and you tell me what you think. Mm. 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 Really good texture, so it's a little spicy, but mm. it tastes good. I think it's a hit. It's tasty. Imagine putting some of that in there with some... I'm gonna have one more, if you don't mind. <laughs> she went back for more. That's the mm. test. Mm. That was the test. Mm. We almost mm. ate it all before you got here. Mm. But with that fish being almost four feet long, we just couldn't. I think that's a hit. Another great I like way to it. do it. It's tasty. I wonder if there's something we can dip it in. I can taste it a little bit saltiness. If you dipped it in melted butter. Or mayo. Mayo? That'd be good too. I like this. My next one I think is mm. going to be gar po' boys. Some po' boy sandwiches. Maybe if we added, could we add a little extra lemon? I didn't do it? any lemon with it this time, so. I could soak in a little bit of lemon first. Well, probably boil it out. You can hit it with a splash now. Sure. I like the lemon flavor on fish. Do we? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Did you add more in here or something? Were you hiding some? This pot has got it. I was gonna yeah. say there's like a few pieces left. I didn't know you saved that many pieces. We'll see what that tastes like with some key lime. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's a little fun. A little extra fun. <laughs> Mom got two sour cabbages for sour. I definitely like it a little bit more with the lime flavor. Mm. Well, just trying to master our domain. I can be at a lake and probably less than 10 minutes to some better fishing spots in about 15 minutes. So this year, I started learning how to rod and reel catch gar. I never caught me on a rod and reel before this year and actually got pretty good at it. Sometimes I've gone out and caught five myself. Went out with monster truck, we caught six, uh, three each. This is just one extra way for us to be able to enjoy a huge resource. And people think this is trash fish, you know. I get it, people are ignorant about all sorts of things, but yeah, I wanna make some meals with that. You know what I mean? It's got a good texture of that meat. It does. Even like, uh, you know, living down in Louisiana before down in New Orleans, mm. uh, the crawfish boils we used to have, this is like, all the tasty meat because it's a similar consistency and flavor obviously 
So without having to crack open a whole bunch of, you know, all that's gone. It's just beautiful, wonderful, boneless, tasty meat. It is. It's really good. That was delicious. I like that. Mama likes it when I cook. Lots of pluses. <laughs> Alright y'all. One more way to eat trash <clears throat> fish. I definitely like when and, Papa and cooks. Eat it and eat it and eat mm -hmm. it. Didn't you have like pizza while you were in town? Mm-hmm. And you're still just... Ain't nothing like home cooking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright. That was a success. Uh, stay tuned. We'll have to do some Gar po Boys coming up here. And uh, yeah. Sounds good. Way to be. <laughs> okay, guys. We'll see you next time. Mama out. Mm -hmm.